Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button right away. Yes, I'm waiting. Yeah, that's good. Now let's continue. In this video, you will learn how to create interactive buzzers with sound effects in PowerPoint. If you are a trainer, a teacher or a professor who likes to conduct pop quizzes in the classroom, then this is a useful tutorial for you to learn. The beautiful interactive buzzers with sound effects you will learn to create today looks like this. I have two of them here. Of course, you can have as many of them. Once you have one of them created, then you can always uh, make copies of them and create as many as you want. The buzzers can have any sound. For example, if I want to say that when you hit this red button, there is a shock kind of a sound, then it can be like this. Can you see that? It almost gives that voltage sound. And another option is this. Let us say somebody has answered correctly and you want to say you're on the money, then you can have this chaching kind of a sound like this. <laughs> awesome, isn't it? You can have any sound that you want. I've just included two of these sounds because these are the ones that come automatically with PowerPoint. You also have the facility to insert any kind of sound which can be downloaded freely from internet. You can use those sounds as well. So let us learn how to create these interactive buzzers in PowerPoint from scratch. So I'm going to go to a new slide. And the first thing I'm going to do is to draw two circles. Let us go to the Home tab, go to Auto Shapes Gallery, and from Basic Shapes, we are going to pick up this oval tool. The first one is going to be slightly big, and the second one is going to be slightly smaller. Either you can draw with the same oval tool and have a smaller one like this, or you can make a copy of this and resize it. Now this one, there is no real um, hard and fast rule that tells you that this has to be a certain percentage of this or any such thing. It is completely up to you. Now the next thing we need to do is to select both these shapes. Select the first one, hold the shift button down and select the second one, right click, go to format object and let us give this a perspective. So let us go to the effects option here and then go to 3D rotation option and go to one of the presets under perspective and the one that I'm going to choose is called as perspective relaxed. I'm going to give a little bit of an angle here. So I'm going to go to Y rotation and choose the option called down. And I'm going to hit that a couple of times. Now that looks like a perfect angle to me. Then let me go to 3D format option here. And let us choose the first one, the larger one. And I'm going to give it a different top bevel here. So let us choose one of the presets under bevel. And let us choose this one called as convex. Now that looks beautiful. And let us add some depth to this one. Let us have 25 points as the depth. You can, of course, always add some material and lighting effect as well. So let us go to material and let us choose the special effect here. And the dark edge seems to be pretty beautiful here. Let us go to shape fill and give it a dark gray color. And let us have no outline. So this looks really beautiful. Then we are going to choose the second one, which is a smaller one and we are going to give this a different kind of a look and feel. So let us go to this one called soft round and let us give this say red color like so and let us go to shape outline and say no outline and let us give this one a depth of say around 15 points. Now that looks good. Now I'm going to place this on top of the earlier one and now we have got our button in place. Then I'm going to select the larger one and I'm going to give it some kind of a shadow so that it doesn't seem like this is floating in the air. So let us go to effects option, go to shadow and let us go to one of the presets and the one that I'm choosing is this one called as offset bottom and let us go to the size option here and let us really increase the size of the shadow and that looks really beautiful. We've chosen 105% here. Now the next step is to add animation to this buzzer. So let us select the button here. Then let us go to animations and let us keep the animation pane open so you can clearly see what I'm doing. I'm going to add a simple emphasis animation to this one. So let us go here and under emphasis, you can see this option called pulse and that allows the button to pulse as soon as you click. So that is the effect that we are going for. So pulse animation. 
And when you go here, you can see that we have that animation event reflect in the animation pane. So let us click on the small arrow here, the downward arrow, and then let us go to effect options. And there are a couple of things that I'm going to do which I want you to give a special attention to. The first one is I'm going to add some sound here. So let us go here and let us say I want people to have uh, that effect of voltage. So I'm going to select the voltage sound here or I can always go down and you can see that option here, voltage. And you can of course click on this and if you want you can always increase or reduce the sound of that voltage sound. So it doesn't really matter. So you can make your choice here. I'm not going to touch that. Now we have got our sound added. The next thing I'm going to do is to go to timing tab in the same pane and let us go to triggers and say start effect on click off and I'm going to choose the option called Oval 3 because I know that this is Oval 3. And then I'm going to say OK. Can you see that? That is how the animation happens. Now what if this is not Oval 3 and how do you actually know whether this is uh, the right thing to which you need to apply the animation? It's very simple. Right off the bat if you want, you can always select this smaller one. You can go to the Format tab go to the selection pane option here and then instead of calling it oval 3 you can always select this and give it a name calling it red button and then you hit enter and the name is already changed and you can close the selection pane now when you do the animation you can be sure that you are animating the right oval excellent now when we go to the slideshow option when you click on the button you will have the voltage sound and there will be that pulse effect. Take a look. Can you see that? That's awesome. Now if you want to have another button, all you need to do is to select both the items, hold the control button down as you move them to the new location. You can always change this to any other color of your choice, let us say the green color here. And you can always go here, go to effect options and you can change the sound. For example, if I want the sound to be like cash register and I can say OK and that is the chaching sound I was talking about. When you click you will have that same kind of uh, pulsing effect with the sound of the chaching or the cash register effect. Isn't that beautiful? Now if you're a trainer, a teacher or a professor who loves to conduct simple pop quizzes using the interactive capability of PowerPoint then I highly recommend that you take a look at this product we have at prezotraining.com. Prezotraining.com is another site of presentation process and you can find this beautiful resource called 45 Interactive PowerPoint Quiz Templates which you can add in your next training. These are very simple, very basic kind of quiz templates and they are very interesting and that's a very important thing and they allow you to add interactivity to your quiz sessions and they can really make your sessions very very interesting. There is a whole bunch of details that is given here about how exactly uh, this particular product works. Every single template that is given to you has clear written instructions about how exactly to edit the game, how to play the game etc. So you will never have any doubts about how to edit or play the game. None of these games are very complex. So anybody can learn how to play this game very quickly and you can use them to add a bit of pizzazz to your classroom. You can always click on the link that I provided for you in the description box below this video to know more details about this product. You will be taken to prezotraining.com and to the sales page of this product. You can find every detail about this product in that page. So if you're someone who likes to conduct pop quizzes in your classroom, then this product can be a very useful one for you. If you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, you can always click on the link here and join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. The tips and tricks that I share with you in this newsletter are so simple that you can use them in your next presentation. So please click on the link here and join our newsletter and I will see you inside.